I'm Aaron. And I'm Megan. And we are the Clothes Pros, back with another video. How was your day? Not How's bad. work? I got Not buried day. under three avalanches of clothing. And yeah, I know. We have been sourcing. A lot of sourcing. We've been, we've been working on our inventory the last, what, three or four nights? And it's yeah. out of control. So I work... I have my own business. He has his own job, and then when we come, or when he comes home from work, we spend our nights trying to inventory, to pick, take photos. Yeah, the inventory part's the worst part so far. It's yeah. just we have to get a handle on this, and we're trying our best, but it's going to take some time. So we have a lot of stuff. So here's my question: We're trying to come up with an inventory system. And with me, I'm kind of old school, write it on paper type thing. I know there's um, programs on the computer and whatnot. But if you have any suggestions or comments about how you do your inventory, comment below and let us know how you do it. Right now, we're still new to this game. And at first, we didn't have a whole lot of inventory. So we were fine. And now we're to the point where we have so much inventory that we are hunting for the shirt that sold through 30 bins of clothes, so. We have a system that's, that seems to work, I guess. Tonight was really the first time we got put to the test, but we put everything in plastic bags and number it, and we have it all wrote down in a notebook. So yeah, it went pretty so good. It's probably a more trial and error type of thing, and I know that what works for one person might not work for everybody, but if you have any um, comments or suggestions on what works for you, let us know. All right. I think you forgot to, to introduce her. No, I was about to say, you forgot to introduce her, not me. Betty, please don't hate me. Betty's already mad. And Betty's for those of you who tonight. do not know. Betty is pimping tonight. This is our lovely assistant, Betty. She is wearing a nice blazer tonight. She wanted to get dressed up for the occasion. Aren't you going to tell them what kind of blazer it is? I mean, we are in the fashion industry. Well, Clothes Pro. That's a BCBG Max of Zero. I said it right. I always say it wrong. I'm always mixing the BC and the BG up. BCBG, BGCB. B Don't confuse me, please. <laughs> well, she's I'd... wearing that that blazer, and she's got a coach purse on with the coach handkerchief, which we'll show later in the video. We'll That's take cute. it off. Yeah. Betty, you're styling tonight. Yeah, she's got some guest knee-high boots, a Vince Camuto purse, and another coach purse with the duster. Betty gets she's nothing all. but the best. It's probably the best dress she's been since I've seen her or met her. <laughs> all right, we're going to start off with our first... Uh, oh. One okay. thing I wanted to tell you guys, I'm not sure if we have ever mentioned this or not, but we just wanted mm -hmm. to tell you guys where we're from. We're, we are from Cincinnati, so I brought a little shirt to say... Go Reds. This is actually for sale. This is a Victoria's Secret pink um, red shirt. And it is in a size extra small. But I just wanted to mention that because I like finding out where everybody is from. Um, when we watch, we watch YouTuber reseller videos all the time. So, yep. All right. You want to start off? Or I'll start off with the first item. Okay, go ahead. This is a, oh, I'm dropping stuff, a men's size medium Ralph Lauren sweater Lauren. with a quarter zip on it. It's like a nice royal blue. Yep, here's the zipper. Most of my stuff is on hangers, so don't mind me messing stuff up. Damn. I mean, there's nothing too fancy. It's this good old-fashioned Ralph Lauren Size medium. Listed in our closet? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I listed this or not yet. I'm not sure. I'm not, yeah. I'm you not sure. You can always check it out. We forgot <laughs> to tell them. Please like and subscribe to this video. Yes. Follow us on Instagram, The Clothes Pros. Follow us on Poshmark, The Clothes Pros. And yeah, if you need to email us, hubbywifey859 at gmail.com as well. Yes, for anything that you see here on our videos or any of the videos we have already posted, please feel free to contact us for a direct sale. We can make you a deal. Bam. Okay, so. What? Here I go in conversation again. Okay. But. 
Who out there has made their New Year's resolution to work out? Because you know everybody and their brother does, right? Yeah, they the gyms are packed. Make the resolution for the first few weeks. Okay. And then it's over. So, with that being said, we have two things here that I want to show you. These Nike. Ooh. I like these. Leggings. They are in, like, these are navy and, like, a light blue and a turquoise. And they have, like, the na the Nike swoosh right there. And they got a butt pocket. They do have a butt pocket, Look which is oh, for, yeah. so. So, you, in case you want to store some butt stuff. <laughs> butt stuff. All right, go ahead. Your gym key, <laughs> your locker key, your house key, or a dollar for your Gatorade or whatnot. Or some butt stuff. <laughs> or some butt stuff. Um, this tag is, oh, this tag. They are in a size small. They are dry fit. Dry are fit. all these sweaters out there running? Yeah, so they won't make you stink. But these are really cute. I love the uh, colors and the pattern on here. And then this doesn't match as an outfit, but as we're talking about the workout oh, oh. stuff. You done messed it up. No, I didn't. You have it all discombobulated. This is a Under Armour. It's orange. This color is the see. Sometimes the color gets distorted on the camera. Orange with silver Under Armour. Um, size medium. Loose fit. Loose fit. I just saw that through the shirt. So I don't know how to say <laughs> um, it. But it's really cute. So, if you are in... Workout the mode. The workout mode. Hit us up. We have plenty of workout We have modes. a ton of stuff, actually, that we have picked up. So these are two two examples, but we have a lot of other stuff that we're going to be posting soon. Um, so check this out our closet on Poshmark. All right. So next up, I have an American, e American Eagle cardigan sweater. Cardigan. 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 Uh, this is women's... I, I, uh, obviously, I can't even talk tonight. Women's, obviously, size medium. There's a tag, bam. And I like this sweater a lot. I do too. Those are pretty. Is those colors. A... It's like coral and pink. Coral. Coral. You're right. It is coral. I was gonna say like some shade of pink, but you busted out coral. Man, it's like spicy You're good mustard. At this. Spicy mustard. Oh yeah, the Steve Madden purse. <laughs> so there's the front. There's the back. And this is for sale. I think it's we have it for sale for twenty bucks. It's in perfect condition. Nothing wrong with it. So yeah, American Eagle can't get it wrong. Oh. Okay, so going on a different note from my workout gear, I have got. I'm going back to winter and warm and cozy. Just how I like it. This. I don't know if I can do this. So you can help me. Um, is. Yeah. It's American Eagle, and it's got it's a sweater with a hooded sweater with these toggles on it. And I it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. And it is in size extra large. It's so soft. I'll show you the tag. Just has a hood. And there you, ooh, you see it. There you go. American XL. Eagle XL. So you know we're not lying to you. <laughs> and it's just got those little toggles, button it up down the front. It'd be so cute with a pair of jeans. You've and got to tell them the flaw. And brown boots. Oh, yes. This does so, have a flaw with it. I did forget. I so, the mic. <laughs> okay, so there's a teeny tiny flaw where one stitch is kind of out on the sleeve. And we kind of debated on whether or not to post things that had any flaws. And from what we've heard that from some other YouTubers that we watched, you can still sell things if people are willing to work with it. I would ask for a lot more it. money for this if it didn't have this little flaw. Right. It's right in the front. So you, you yeah. know exactly where it's at. So, oh yeah. So it's just those little... It has that little hole right see, there. Right here. So I'm... Attempting to kind of debate on stitching, trying to put a stitch in there because I'm not the expert sewer. Or seeing if somebody would still like this even though it's got that little hole. 
And from what I've heard, people still post things with flaws and they're still able to sell them. So we're just going to adjust the price and see if it's Yeah, I think I know. listed it for like 25 but if this, if this didn't have a flaw in it, I probably would have listed it for like 50 So yeah, if you're a seamstress, big, this is thick and heavy. Right up your alley. It would take you probably two seconds to, fit, to sew. This whole um, experience has pushed me to try to learn some sewing skills. So... I don't think that I've mastered it yet, but I'm learning. And it's something that I always kind of wanted to learn how to do anyway. So, I mean, I'm learning how to sew buttons. I wish you would because I always get holes in my stuff. Can you sew my underwear? Ugh. All right. These are a pair of Zero Grand Kohan. For all those out there, you're lucky these aren't my size because I would have there's oh, a lot of right. stuff you're lucky aren't in her size. Anyway. The rose gold, my favorite. Yeah, they are. Kohan, have the name on the back in case you don't believe me. These are practically brand new condition. They look like they were worn one time, that's it. But yeah, like she said, they are rose gold and pink. Oh, they're so pretty. And yeah, I mean, I think I have these listed for 40 or 50. These are... I mean, they're Cole Hahn, so they're pretty expensive otherwise. Mm. Bam. They better that, sell that soon nice. or else I'm going to be putting some, like, tissue paper in the toe. Speaking of that, they're size 8.5, by the way. 8.5. They can be yours. So pretty. If your foot's an 8.5. Okay. So. I never really knew this was a brand until... Probably like a year or so ago. You never heard of that brand before? Well, I heard of it, but I didn't really know what it was like. Mm, I think of the thing. Hmm. We've got Tommy Bahama. It's wrinkled, right but it, it is brand yeah, new with the tags. Yeah, it is a little tags. wrinkly. I had it all folded up. Um, it's brand new with tags, and it is a size... I think it's extra large, right? Extra large. Um, right here is the tag for... Originally eighty eight dollars. Eighty eight bucks. Um, Tommy Bahama, and it's just a gray, a dark gray and a light gray. What do you? It has a little black in there too. I almost wanted to call it a thermal, but it's like a. No, it's like a, not a sweater, but a step below a sweater, whatever yeah. that is. I don't know. Long this sleeve shirt. Really, really cute. I love this. So, this will be in our closet soon, if you yeah, are interested. It's not posted yet. Not yet. We have a lot of inventory that we just got because I... That's an understatement. Okay, you have an addiction problem to... Me? I'm not the only one. She took me to work the other day, took the car. I come home, she's got four bags from the bins. She didn't even tell me she was going to the bins. She went without me because she has a problem. Right? I don't even know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, lie to the people. That's real good, Megan. All right. Our next, yeah, I heard that. Our next item is a Michael, 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 Michael Kors top. This is a size petite large. Here's the tag. Can't really see it because it's light. Let me see. There we go. This is like a army green. Yeah. Like an army green? Army green. Uh, has a bunch of little holes on the top part of it. Wait, what size is this? A large, petite, petite, Ugh. large, however you want to say it. Yeah, I know. Not your size, thank God. Has a little leather strap right there on this shoulder. Nothing on this shoulder. Oh, my bad. It does. It has it on both. One yeah. of these shirts that we have. Has a, Only has it on one, yeah. A little Ralph Lauren shirt. Yeah, Michael. Michael Kors. Oh. I'm glad it's not Megan's size. I, for those who don't know, I have a secret love for Michael Kors. I love secret. Michael Kors. So anytime that we find anything, it's automatically mine. I have two more Michael Kors. Items Unless to show. it's, well, if it's I a purposely... size extra small or small, mine. Sorry. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Anyway, this is something 
I don't know if this is a brand or not, but I thought this was so cute. At least it's not super cute. I was waiting for him to say it so I didn't have to. It's called Absolutely Famous. Don't know if that means anything, but it's a 1X, extra large. And it's this, uh, like, bell sleeve blouse. It's pink, white. And I just thought this was super cute, even though it was, like, maybe not a brand that everybody's looking for. I don't know. It doesn't always have to be a name brand. Yeah, it doesn't. But I saw that Forever 21 was, like, one of the top trending items this week on Poshmark. and Yeah, that surprised me. Me too. And it's just got these really cute sleeves, and um, it's in a size extra large for anybody who's looking for that. It will soon be in our closet. All right, I'm going to try to say this again, right? Uh, this is a BC. I'm reading it. Haha. <laughs> BC, BG, Max Zero top. Damn. That's cute. This is a size small. There you go. This has like a ruffled collar. It's a V-neck. Uh, it's a maroon color. So yeah. I have this listed for $35, I think. Because I know Maxim Zero is more expensive than Generation. Because I am a have done your research. like that, yes. Bam. Okay. So, like he already ratted me out and told mm -hmm. you guys the other day... Took him to work, and then I got lost on the way home, and I ended up in the bins. It was not my fault. I just had no idea where I was at, yeah, and sure. I well, yeah. turned into the uh -huh. bins. You're lying to the people. Yeah. I was just at the bins. So, when I was at the bins... Just at just happened to stumble upon the bins. I, it was crazy. It was, it yeah. was weird. Yeah. I, I didn't even know, I'm like... I'm put a GPS tracker on my car now. <laughs> so... Every time I go to the bins, I'm always with him. So this is my first time going by myself. So I'm as slaving away at work, and she's driving to the bins, having a good old time. All right, continue. I'm done. So you've heard us talk about the vultures. The vultures are always there every day, all day, and they sprint up to the newest bin that they pull, push out the new bins. When they're done... I go up because I don't want to be elbowed and pulling different clothes from other people's hands. It's just... Oh. So they got done with their bin and they all walked away. And then I walked up and found Michael Kors. How they missed that, I'll never know. This is hooded vest. And not only that, but it's reversible. And the inside is kind of like a, not fleece, but... Warm. I don't know. But like a fabric-y, like a fleecy material. Like a fleece. It's not a fluffy fleece, but um, the front, the other side is like... It's got like scales almost, but it's kind of shiny. And it is just so pretty. See the... Scale, yeah. And the size, or the tag for it is on the inside of this pocket. And it is a size... Small. Size small. But I saw this, and when the vultures all walked away, I was like, hmm, missed something. But yeah, this is like, this was probably one of my most favorite finds of the day. Um, so... Michael Kors. Ooh, so shiny. There you go. And even though it was kind of uneventful not being there with Aaron, I still was trying to find as much as possible since I did make the trip there. I mean, get lost and wound up there. So that was probably my favorite thing. All right. Turn to Betty for a minute. As we talked about earlier, she has a Max Zero blazer on. This is like a Denim, I guess you would say. Yeah, it's like a denim looking material. Uh, this is a size large. It says in cute please here. But we're going to talk about the purse that she has on. This is a coach purse. It has the metal emblem up here. 
I would I highly says. suggest somebody buy this so that it doesn't end up. Yeah, she's already trying to steal this too. I don't know how we're gonna make any money with her. Anyway, uh, inside, I mean, you can tell it's been used once or twice, but it's pretty clean inside. Pretty clean. Has a leather logo right here. Uh, the back right here. Uh, the strap is pretty heavy duty, so it's nice, very nice. And you have that listed in our closet, right? Or you know, not yet. Yeah, I have it listed. This oh, is you do. $80. $80 in our Probably closet. Probably a $300 right something dollar purse, right? But if you want to make a deal, holla. Contact us directly. Holla. Holla. Right. Holla. I'm not putting this bag on. Okay. So, this dress. I was so excited about this dress, oh. not because I liked the dress, but because of the, the price find. Tag. The find. Um, so this is a White House Black Market. I gotta get all the straps put together here, I believe. And it is in a size, a size ten. So not the small, medium, large style. It's size ten. <clears throat> well, maybe you having issues here? Bear with me. Help. I, you know, I don't wear dresses very often lately. Okay. Here, oh. lean back. This is... The sleeve is caught. Oh, good lord. Oh. So then you have to get a degree in trying to operate yeah, the I got dress. my side working. Okay, there we go. So, this isn't very flattering the way we have it right now. However, I promise that we'll take some better pictures and have it listed in our closet. But anyway, this is, I mean, this, it's a cold shoulder, kind of. But it, anyway, that was kind of a fail on my half. Um, this was um, $150. It's new with and tags. And it's still new with tags. White House, black market, like I said, size 10. $150, still new with tags. It is really, I mean, I know our little show wasn't too that flattering. Was horrible, horrible. But it's like a gold and silver flowery pattern, and we will definitely post better pictures on our closet to show you. But it's really pretty, and I would love to have it, except for it's not my size. Size 10. You're definitely not a size 10. So, moving on. Uh, I guess we'll go with these. Oh, you know what? I'm hold this up. I'm going to talk about this. Can we talk about that? That's cute. We can talk about the boots. Okay. This is a Vince Camuto purse with the fake snake skin going around. This is so cute. This thing's in perfect condition. Uh, the inside doesn't even look like it's ever been used before. And I couldn't believe I found this, but I did. Nothing really, not much to you talk about You probably elbowed here. a vulture, didn't you? I will elbow, elbow. 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 <laughs> elbow a vulture. I'm not scared of the vultures. But yeah, I mean, has a little front zipper pocket right here. Is there a million dollars in here? No, of course not. We did find a penny the other day in a purse. Woohoo! So yeah, Vince Camuto. I have this listed for, I don't know. I forget how much I listed this for already. I just listed it tonight. So the bigger our closet gets, the harder it is to remember what we posted, what the price is, what the size is. Very hard. At first we were like, oh yeah, that's a size small. That's for $40. And now we're like. I don't know. Check out our, Pos our Poshmark closet. You will find out. Okay. So you'll find these things quite often. <laughs> But if these were my size. Oh my god. Here we go. I'm gonna start buying ugly stuff. No, these are so pretty. Okay, guess. Who? Guess who? Guess size. Was it nine and a half? Uh, nine. Nine. Guess size nine. Absolutely, as you can see, perfect. They were warm mm -hmm. ones, probably. Yeah, I mean, nowhere. You can tell that they've been worn, but not much. And absolutely perfect here. Brown with gold. 
Yes. With the boots, with the fur. What was that? Are you embarrassed of me? Never. I'm embarrassed of me. At least you didn't do the... Booties, booties, booties. All right. Here's my last item of the night. Here we have another coach purse. I'm a purse guy tonight. Purse guy. Purse guy. This is another little coach purse. Uh, has a crisscross handle. I can't even talk right now. Tired. Yeah, I'm very tired. Has a little coach. Uh, what is this thing called? Do people call it a fob or like a? I don't know. I don't know what it is either. I don't know, but it's fancy. And the way you open, the way you open this purse is you twist that little thing and bam. You twist that little, twist thing, that little thing and, and bam. bam. He's very technical here for those I of am. you. <laughs> I am. They should put me on some kind of TV show. Maybe you could try out for Coach.com and see if they'll. You twist it here and bam. <laughs> they couldn't afford me anyway. I mean, this thing looks like it was used maybe once or twice, but the inside's pretty. Pretty good condition. Nothing wrong with it. There's the front. There's the back. And there you have it. I think I have this listed for 50 or 60. These are all authentic, obviously. I mean, we don't sell fake items. Oh, yeah, and this comes with a duster bag. See? 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 Hold on. Coach. Duster bag. If only I could get you to dust around here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm hmm I know it's funny. I do all the laundry. <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Okay, so my last thing is kind of a question and kind of just... The name is Carl Lagerfeld. Lagerfeld. Lagerfeld of Paris. And weirdly, I went to the bin the day I went to the bins by myself, I found a Carl Lagerfeld t shirt. And I'm like, who's that? So I looked it up and did my comps and decided to buy the t shirt. And then next thing you know, we found one again the next time we go. So the well, a purse. Instead, I found a t-shirt, and then, like, the next time we go, we find a purse. I have gone my whole life. I won't tell you how old I am, but 21. never. 21? I'm 36, and I'm married a 21-year-old. Yeah, I believe that. Times. You mean plus? Plus. A lot of years. Cripes. So shiny. Carl Lagerfeld of Paris, but it's a cute crossbody with adjustable strap. Plain and simple, but super classic. And if you don't buy it, it might get lost. She's trying to make me take her out so she can wear it. Or is that a different, a different purse? Well, I can wear any of these purses out if you want to take me out. I will take you out, baby. I mean... I could use this, or I could use, you know, we've got... Can we go race go-karts? In this purse? In general. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sweet. I was thinking something more like... I'm not going to show you no mercy. I'm going to blow by you. Be gone. I was thinking like Jeff Ruby and a steak. Jeff Ruby? Fancy dinner with... It's like $180 per steak. Candles and nice, like... Okay, but we have to get a good carton too. Or bowling. Yeah, that's a good winter activity, actually. I don't know if this purse will match like my bowling outfit, but <laughs> yes, it will. Anything matches a bowling outfit. Just walk in there, be like, "Hey, I'm ready to bowl? Got my Carl Lagerfeld. <laughs> Got my Carl Lagerfeld. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right." That's it for this haul. So, like and subscribe. Contact us if you have any questions or are interested in 
any of the things that we've showed you tonight or in any other in any of our other videos. Hubbywifey859 at gmail.com. He says it really fast. Instagram, the clothes pros. Follow us there. Poshmark calls it the clothes pros. Clothes pros. And if you don't know what the name is here on YouTube and somehow you're watching this video, I got nothing for you. It's the clothes pros. There you go. All right. Now get to working out and buy our stuff. Yes. Go work, Go buy our workout clothes and go work out. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Peace.